In this video, I'm showing you how to download Python and install it on Windows 10. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it. I cover the full process of finding the correct download, installing it, and then going making sure it works. So let's go and get into this. Now let's go and get into this video. So the first thing you want to do is simply go and open up your search browser. So personally, I'm using Google Chrome. So open it up and then come to a search engine. So now you want to simply go and search for Python, but do keep watching as I'm showing you which download to go and actually do on the website because there are a few different options and then I'm showing you the full install process as well. So search for Python like so, and then you want to make sure you come to python.org. Then maybe a few ads, make sure you come to python.org. It may say welcome to python.org, but that may have changed. Then click there and it's going to take you to the website. Then you want to simply come and click on the downloads tab here. Simply click here and then it's going to go and list all the downloads. Okay. Or if you want to go and see others as well, you can click here and you can go all releases. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the same thing. So then you want to go and simply click download the latest version for Windows, but you can also go and get the Linux or the Mac by clicking down here. So I'm going to click here and this is currently 3.9.5. There may be a newer version though. So click here and then it's going to go and stop the download. As you can see, it's around 27 megabytes. So wait for it to finish and it is now finished. So then you want to simply go and click on it once and you may get a Windows security pop-up. Um, so yeah, that may occur. But as you can see here, uh, you've got these two options here. I'm just going to go for the standard installation. So I'm going to click on it and then you're going to get a Windows security pop-up, which my screen recorder won't record. And now it's literally installing. It shouldn't take too long um, and uh, we want to simply wait for it to uh, go and do its thing. And then you're going to get this message here saying setup was successful. Then you can go and click close. And that's literally it. Python is now on your computer, so you can close off Chrome. And then you want to come to your search icon down in the left next to the Windows icon. And you can simply go and search for Python, like so. And as you can see here, you then got Python 3.9 and the 64-bit version. So click there. And then here we go. Here is Python. So I'm going to go and paste in a bit of code just so you know it's fully working. So I'm going to paste this in here. It just says print hello Python. So it's going to say hello Python. Press enter. And there you go. It then goes and says hello Python. There's so much you can do within Python. It's a really cool program. So if you did find this video useful, please go down below, leave a like, subscribe for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.